Hey everybody, Superfluous Jay here with another Factorio for Beginners and we are researching stuff and we are making stuff and we are getting things done. Um, mostly in here I am waiting for um, this to finish so that I can get uh, Combat Robotics, which is next in my line, finished so I can head out here and take out some of these biters. These guys would be nice to get rid of. Um, these guys here would probably be nice. They're they're gonna they're gonna probably be next on our list. Uh, we got some bigger bases coming up um, as we go. So I wanna I wanna use combat robotics to take them out. Um, I am a little concerned that some of this some of this pollution is gonna reach these guys before we head out to them. So I think I'm gonna drop a couple turrets here, um, just just kind of along here, in order to make sure that. Uh, if we do get attacked, um, we'll be able to defend our, our borders here. And I'm, I'm just going to make a line of like, I don't know. Let's do five of them. And um, we, we took all of our bullets uh, from our inventory. So I'm going to put half and half and then all. And then I'm going to take half out of here. <laughs> And then I'm going to put them in this guy. And then this guy, I guess, uh, I will just repair him up. He took some damage from last time and delete him. Um, yes, uh, uh, bullets. Um, we, are, we are using all of our bullets right now that we're, that we're making to make to make science. Um, eventually we're going to get a surplus. <laughs> um, it, it, it will be nice when that happens, but it hasn't happened yet. Um, because, because the amount of, of science that we're, that we're making right now, we're using it all. So as the bullets come down the line, they're just going to get grabbed by these, uh, by these machines in order to, to make more, uh, military science, um, in order to, in order to, uh, <clears throat> in order to get more out of that, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make an extra thing of um, uh, what do we call them? these things? <laughs> I'm going to make more of these. Um, and sadly, I didn't give myself any room to make them down here. So I think I'm actually going to suck it up and make them up here on the. Uh, in the mall. And what I'm going to do though is I'm going to utilize the fact that I, I have far more bullets than I need here. And I'm going to run these bullets up here and I'm going to, uh, now nah, you know what? I don't like that at all. I, I'm just going to suck it up and make them up here. And we need, we need to make more bullets than we need to make thing, uh, things. And I, I am going to, going to use the fact that Sorry, let me uh, let me get this done, and I'll talk about it in a second here. Um, I am going to going to ignore the fact that we need three things of bullets to make uh, uh, armor piercing bullets. Uh, I'm just going to make two things of bullets here, um, because as I said in the mall, it doesn't matter whether or not you you have the right ratios and the right amounts of everything. You just want to you just want to get stuff made. So let's go ahead and oops, I keep doing that. These bullets need to go into here. These guys need iron. He needs steel and copper, um, and we are running steel to here. So he needs steel and copper, and he needs to spit out to a box. And yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And that. And I'm not going to limit this box. <laughs> this box is going to uh, be my bullet supply for the entire game, and I want it as full as possible. So he's at the end of the line, so he'll just take whatever resources he needs and uh, make me lots of bullets. Um, and that's while we're waiting for all this research to uh, get us what we want. And again, the limiting factor is the number of labs we have. So we have 16 labs here running, 4x4. Four four. So let's make 16 more, shall we? Uh, let's make all six of these, and then we need gear wheels. 
uh, is what we're missing. If, if you hover over something, see what's in red there? That's how I know I need gear wheels, because I have electronic circuits and I have transport belts. So let me just find um, a, a moderately empty thing of gear wheels. Here we go. I can just run down here and grab all these gear wheels. I'm holding down F as I run over this belt. So now I've made six, so now five, ten, oops, fifteen. I only need to make ten. So I right-clicked here to, to remove five from the list of, of things that we made. Um, so now we're going to have sixteen total. So let me go ahead and just double this, which is which is kind of crazy for the for the amount that we're doing, but it's what we need. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, so we're gonna put that down here, and we're gonna go copy and paste. And now we can just go boom, click in the wrong spot. Get the belts going. Get the blue, get power going, get the red ones to grab the military science. And now the rest of this is just uh, get these going as fast as possible. So that we're, we're creating science. We're doing a lot of research. The, the guys and girls in the labs are using our science packs to further our knowledge. I don't know how it works, but it works. I'm kind of like Cave Johnson. <laughs> I don't know how the science works. I don't know how it gets done, but it gets done. And that's the way it, that's the way we go. So now we're definitely researching pretty quick. So uh, let me uh, let me plan ahead by tossing a grenade here. Might as well get rid of some trees. Who needs trees anyway? Um, we are going to be today, when the time comes, making combat robotics. Um, and what, what combat robotics are, um, they're really nice. They, uh, they allow you to have little robots flying around you that... Um, little robots flying around you that protect you or distract the bad guys or shoot at the bad guys or do little things so that, that you have, it's kind of like having extra turrets. Um, they, uh, they, they have a limited lifespan, I think generally 45 seconds. So you have to like deploy them, run in, fight the bad guys. They protect you while you're fighting the bad guys. And then, um, and then you, uh, Th then they blow up and they're gone. Um, they generally take bullets and they take, uh, uh, you know other other things, and they're not really super expensive. But because they're temporary, I don't usually use them all that often. I'm going to show them to you because this is a, a playthrough where I show you everything. But um, I, I don't actually like them all that much <laughs> when it comes down to it. So uh, uh, I take take what I'm saying here with a grain of salt because um, I would generally rather not use them than uh, than than use them. So um, while we're waiting for that, though, I might as well uh, grab a bunch more. Uh, stone off the uh, off the belt here, stone bricks. I'm just just running up here with all this stuff so I can continue my paving. Um, one one thing I could do down here is um, I could grab this stone and put it in a box so it's a little bit easier to grab. Uh, that's probably something good to do. Okay, we just got the the other um, damage research. Don't need to talk about that. It just makes your guns better. Um, it's very important. It's very good, but it's not much to uh, not much to show demonstrate. Or anything like that with it so not going to actually talk about it all that much and sadly that's one thing with stone is it does not uh <laughs> it does not uh last very long in your inventory uh if you saw there i i just i, I ran up here picked up all the stone off this belt and it, it's gone already so let's go ahead and do it again uh notice i'm only taking off one side of the belt that's because i'm too far away so i need to get a little bit closer i just ran to the right a little bit so that i'm, I'm grabbing off the entire belt uh, I don't want to pick up that stone there. I just want the stone bricks. Um, so that's probably the best I can do. Now, combat robotics is researching pretty fast. The uh, the bullet damage research is kind of expensive, whereas these uh, combat robotics researches are a little bit less expensive. I'm going to run this brick out here because I, I would like to have... Uh, I like to have my mall paved. Uh, and I'm already out, so let's go ahead and start laying down some... Uh, some machines here. I don't know exactly what I'm going to need, but that'll be good enough for now. 
uh, as soon as the combat robotics is done, I'm going to uh, I'm just going to jump right into it and, and make it because we are uh, we're getting to the point where these guys are going to get mad at us. I'm I'm actually a little surprised that they haven't attacked yet, <laughs> so I'm running the ragged edge. But you know, a, a couple attacks from biters is is good for the it's good for the psyche. Let's also pick up some piercing rounds off of here to uh, to get this going. And it looks like. Yeah, he he can pick off of this belt fast enough to fill this guy, so he makes a he makes a bullet every time that he needs one, which is good. Okay, combat robotics. Um, we can only make one thing right now, and that's the defender capsule. He takes um, these bullets. He also takes uh, steel and copper. Um, yeah, he takes piercing rounds. I'm sorry, I was on the wrong thing. He takes piercing rounds. He takes uh, iron gear wheels and circuits. We're already making iron gear wheels and circuits up here. Um, we're already making piercing rounds here, and I think I'm going to utilize that. I'm going to drop this belt. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to drop. I'm not going to drop the box, but I am going to take off the box with him and put them on a belt, so that this defender capsule can take off the belt like that. And I don't know if I'll, you know what, I'll just drop these like this. Okay, so this is going to be a defender capsule. He needs, uh, there we go. <coughs> he needs piercing rounds, which he's getting. He needs electronic circuits, and he needs iron gear wheels. So he can take iron gear wheels right off of here, no problem. He can take electronic circuits right off of here, no problem. We'll just do the underground thing. And then he is going to, as everything else does in this game, put it into a box and we're going to limit this box down to one because we don't care uh, <laughs> we, we would much rather have bullets than these defender capsules but uh, we're going to let it we're going to let it make a few just so we can uh, just so we can go out there and use them um, I think they stack to 10 uh, so so this isn't going to be a huge drain on our resources it's just um, it's just taking away from the bullets that that we so desperately want to use and I'm gonna keep uh, laying lights down oops I forgot to lay lights down on here so while he's generating more defender capsules for me I might as well uh, keep the lights on here I think I'm gonna plop them in the center of the thing here just space them out a bit just to just to get some light on the subject it's nice to have light and it looks like everywhere that I would want light I have it now which is nice And we got plenty of bullets. We got some military science got in our inventory. So I'm gonna toss it in one of these labs. And uh, we got four defender capsules. You know what, that's plenty. And um, the uh, the military thing here is a perfect place to put these kind of things. And I'm gonna put them on the, on the ends like I did before. Uh, we don't want any more of these regular bullets in our in our inventory because we're not going to be using them anymore at all. Uh, we also are going to want to make more repair packs. So I'm just going to make a bunch. <laughs> it doesn't really matter how many I make. I'm just going to just going to have them there. We have fish in our inventory if we really want it for some stupid reason. Uh, we have bullets. We have our gun. We have um, everything we could want. Let's go take out some biters. So we are going to run this way. Also, you know what? We're uh, we're researching weapon shooting speed, and we don't really have anything else to make after that. I kind of want to concentrate on cars, though. So what we're going to do is we're going to make logistics too, which gives us better belts. This is our first upgrade of belts. You don't actually need these for very many things, but they're going to come in handy when we start ramping up uh, production. So I'm going to put those on there. Uh, and then I'm going to just put the car after it. So this might be the last time we leave the base um, under our own power, <laughs> as the case may be. Uh, it's nice to have a car when you're when you're doing this kind of things because it, it can get a little tedious running all the way down here to, uh, to just to fight some biters and then come back to base. So um, anyway, defender capsules. What they do is um, the robot lifetime is 45 seconds. He has a he has a shooting speed of of uh, Three. I'm not sure what that actually means, but the three plus 0 0.9. So he shoots four times per second, I'm guessing. Um, and they do a certain amount of damage. So I'm just going to plop two of these out here, and um, we're going to see what happens when we just uh, when, when we we use them as we normally would um, fighting fighting bad guys. So I'm going to go right click. I'm going sorry. Gonna click and click, and then we're going to do our normal thing where we take a we take a turret. And notice they're they're shooting the bad guys for me, which is nice. So we're gonna take a turret, oop, 
and we're going to plop it there. We're going to put some bullets in it. We're going to kill these guys. And then the defenders are going to shoot the bad guy. And we didn't even see it happen because they, they did their job. So, I mean, that was a lot easier than before. That That's for sure. Um, I don't know if I can repair them. No, I can't repair them, which is probably a good thing because uh, they're going to blow up in a few seconds. Um, by the time we uh, by the time we, we need them again, they're going to have blown up. So that kind of sucks. Yeah, they just blew up and crashed in the ground. See, they're their little dead robot bodies are <laughs> crashed into the ground so that's so sad for them but uh let's go up and and i just noticed that that our pollution is kind of stretching out this way because miners miners are very pollu pollutanting i don't know what the right word would be for that but uh, they make a lot of pollution so we're going to go up and take this base out we're going to use our other two defenders on that and then um uh, when the time comes, we'll, we'll, we'll go out again, uh, probably with a car. And it looks like we have an iron ore patch out here. So we might be tapping that uh, in the future when we uh, when we need to expand our ore production. Um, another nice reason to go out and kill the biters is it, it gives you a reason to explore, which is which is nice. So um, I'm just going to bring these defenders out. Notice they're, they're very offensive for something called defender. And I'm not even going to use... Um, I'm not even going to use... Uh, turrets this time. I just used my two defenders and then it worked. Oh, there's another base up there. I don't think I want to uh, run that risk. I'm going to eat some fish though. This will show you how, how good fish are. Uh, yeah, that base is way too big. <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not going to bother with it. Um, hopefully by the time uh, we need it, we'll have better things at our disposal or we'll just use uh, the, the old standard turret creep method but yeah the, one of these guys almost got killed uh, they're both following me around they're just gonna die by the time uh, by the time yeah they've got four seconds left of life so uh, as soon as they uh, as soon as they go here one of them died the other one died and then just leave their robot corpses on the ground no big deal um, but yeah that's that's defender capsules they're nice there's nothing wrong with them um, they're 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 definitely an option if you if you like that kind of thing um and i think you can throw out as many of them as you want um but there might be a limit to how many you can throw out too i i don't actually know that much about them um maybe next time i go out i'll i'll try to throw out like 20 of them and then just run through the middle of the base and see what happens um it looks like we're out of ore, iron ore here which is nice we can uh we can remove some of these miners this miner here is um limited not by is stopped not because he's out of iron ore but because he is uh he's out of space this guy um even though his, his belt's full he's actually out of iron ore as well he is still has 895 to go these guys are all out so see we're using up this iron patch which is which is a bad thing for us because when you uh when you use up an iron patch you <laughs> you run out of iron uh we're gonna eventually run out of iron here i can though clear off all this belt and, and repurpose it for other things this guy's out of iron he's out of iron looks like all the way to here we're out of iron so uh, we're getting to the point that we're gonna need to start thinking about uh let's see he he was actually out but these guys have iron they're just blocked which is fine um but we're gonna we're, we're getting to the point now where we're we're gonna be running out of iron uh mining which is a bad thing for us because um it's our lifeblood uh can i use this yeah i can use this iron mine and i can actually put a miner here if i really wanted to and i think i do um i'm just gonna keep topping off this until uh this goes away until, until we don't have any more iron to mine Looks like that's it for that. Um, and then we just have this little bit left here, which um, is kind of annoying. Uh, I'm not sure what the best way to get rid of this would be, but I think I'm going to do something funky because I don't really, I don't want to get it all on one side of the belt, although it really doesn't matter that much. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Um, I'm just laying out as many as will possibly fit. And then what I'm going to do here is um, I I'm going to make an actual third belt of iron. Uh, so I think I'm going to run this this way as well and then come around this way and then run him off along that way just because this is so tight through here. Um, we haven't gotten to the point, I think, where, we're, where we've used up any of our copper. Oh, we have. These guys are used up, which is kind of nice. This guy's used up. 
Uh, these guys are not used up, they're just blocked because you don't actually use as much uh, copper as you use other things. This guy has 9.4 thousand. So we could actually, we're going to want to put miners here is the problem, but not here. <laughs> so I think we can get away with, I think we can get away with running this um, this way. Because we can, we can run an underground like this and then up that way. So yeah, that works. That works. So let's do that. Okay, so we'll start an underground here. Just the same trick as always. This is the boring part. There's really not much you can do other than other than suck it up and do it. Uh, as I have mentioned many times, uh, when once you get robots, this is a lot easier. Um, let's get this rock out of my way. And these guys, I don't need to do anything special. I can just run a belt along here. And then I can match that belt. Just stuff it right here. And then these guys will t will um, make up for the fact that these guys are here and there's no there's no miners here. Like, these guys are filling the side of the belt as if they're there. Uh, okay, so now we need to do this. And kind of need to run around. Okay, uh, we have 33 of these. We might as well use them. Doing the click and drag trick. These guys need power, and then I can put one. Oh, I, he doesn't actually work there. He'll work there to power them all, but it doesn't. It, the, the length doesn't stretch. Um, it also doesn't stretch across this far because there's a belt here. Like, it works here, but it doesn't work here. I don't want to fiddle around with underground, so I think I'm just going to do this. There we go. Now everybody's powered. And we've got this line of iron going like this. And it comes around this way. And this power pole is in exactly the wrong spot. There we go. Then we're going to run this guy up like this. And what we can do here is... Because these belts have the same thing on them, I can just swap which one does what. And we're not using this copper anymore, so we can delete this line. This line was the copper that used to go up to the old factory. So we can just use that line, and we can, we can bring this guy right into here. This line of, of iron ore. And then now we're... Now we're we're bringing two lines in and splitting them into two lines instead of bringing one line in and splitting them into two lines is what we're doing there. Um, and then what we want to do is instead of running it like this, we're going to want to split this iron line off this way. And then we're going to, we're going to set up a new iron smelting line here, but uh, we're just kind of getting long in the tooth and I'm out of belts almost anyway. So I need to run down here. So I'm going to bid you adieu and um, make that new iron line uh, uh, next episode. And then we're going to make, make a car, which will be awesome. <laughs> I hope you're looking forward to that. I'm definitely looking forward to doing it. I am Superfluous J, and I will, as always, not be able to reach what I'm reaching for. And talk at you later.